What's up guys? This is the Roofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Bavaria. And to pick up where we left off, we actually have quite an important battle in front of us. Um, if we lose this battle then our entire Western Front is open. Uh, open for the Netherlands to push in and attack. But the if we manage to repel them, then these, the, these forces up here in uh, Denmark could potentially be driven westward and brought to bear so it's quite important um, we do have fire by rank the enemy has a good amount of cavalry but we have one set of artillery so we will be using that mercilessly we have enemy cavalry to be aware of but not necessarily it's not necessarily disruptor because we've got a couple of cavalry above of ourselves we have a handful of infantry units to protect from the cavalry attacks and to provide massed firepower fundamentally this is this is really important um there's a, there's a real chance that if we do this, we might lose a significant chunk of our Western Empire against uh, against attacks from uh, the United Provinces, and not really have much to stop them in the immediate uh, in the short term, which will be quite devastating, really. Oh, hello! I see a div I see a divot. Okay, so I want to put an infantry unit here gun team here. New men are going to deploy behind trenches. So here's what I'm going to do. Every infantry unit deploys behind a barricade. Every militia unit deploys behind a stake. So I might deploy the infantry... Actually, okay, right, right. What I'm going to do, because my militia units need that cover more than my line infantry so these men behind stakes will be fairly secure i can keep a militia unit ready because this is in not is it impassable it's not impassable well that piece is okay well, i'll keep two militia units back to cover my left flank oh, okay you were in the front okay so let's group you guys up in the front but my line infantry, they're going to deploy out on the flank and hopefully push. You guys can cover here. Got a unit of Landwehr back as reinforcements, plus our cavalry. Okay. Actually, looking like we might be able to put a decent amount of fire on the flank. So my gunners focus on the cavalry. What I want to see is where their infantry force goes. Because you men can provide cover on the flank. You men are going to pivot a little bit, like so. You're going to have Landwehr militia to counter charge any attacks. Keep my guns hot against the enemy cavalry, but let's speed up time. I want to see what they're doing. I'm not about to do any major redeployments. There's not a lot they can actually they can do to change my mind that significantly. Just keep picking away. Okay, now their cavalry are pushing the flank quite a lot. Bring a cavalry unit down here. We're peppering their provincial cavalry. You men actually start to engage the line infantry. If their cavalry push me on the flank, we can deploy into square quite safely. I mean, hopefully, it looks like they are, they're not going to necessarily hit that stake in the way I want. They will a bit, but they're already wavering, that's quite handy. And they're broken, which means they'll take lots of damage on the retreat. Guns, switch to canister shot. Actually, no, stay round shot. Engage the enemy coming in. You can't take out my squares. You know it. Canister shot the second regiment. I don't like how they're going for my guns. I like how you're going for my square. You men drop into square two. If we can break their cavalry force before their infantry get to us, that would be perfect.
The U men start to engage their line infantry that are now creeping towards us. I'm hoping their dragoons will go the same way as their cavalry. We form the square, keep the squares up, because if we can keep our infantry alive, thanks for the running into the spikes, matey boy. You hit the ninth, you stay in square. Don't need to commit any of my cavalry. My guns actually hit the foot guards first. We've now knocked out the enemy force on the flank, so I might even be able to move my my militia force like so. My reinforcements can push up that flank as well. With cavalry support. If you keep charging, you'll hit this this defence. Oh, you men fire at will. Hit the general's bodyguard. There's another regiment of dragoons. Okay, you men can pop out of square, begin loading and firing by rank. Get my cavalry on the flank. You guys can stay here as to provide cover. Hit the enemy regiment of Dragoons, because then you guys can get out of square, form up and begin hammering them with volley fire. We're going to knock out the second regiment. You guys get out of square, get up on the flank, start hammering them with volley fire. Oh, United Provinces. You really didn't think this was how it was going to go. Because now we can do this. Your cavalry's gone. Switch to round shot. Because it looks like they... Oh no, hit the Marines with canister shot. My infantry is gonna gonna reload. <laughs> oh, United Provinces, Fifteenth Regiment, at the extreme edge of our range. Push my cavalry up wide. Okay, at which point now this becomes a closing the jaws operation. I might even commit you guys into the action now. Don't even need our guns. You men are going to take a bit of time to get spooled up. But when you do, obviously fire it well on. Engage the Marines. Or the Mari no, Netherlands Marine Marinier Corps. Because, <laughs> yeah, you're... Uh, not Things aren't necessarily going to go the way you want them to. Keep the cavalry going. You men are engaging the Marina Corps. It looks like they're kind of doing a, a withdrawal. They're encouraged because their general is alive, but sadly not on the field. The foot guard is still withdrawing. Oh, that's a lot of dead marines. They're just going to keep on retreating. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not giving my own guys a chance to form up and shoot because they're retreating so damn bad. Keep pushing on all fronts. I'm not using my cavalry yet. 
at this range I could use my guns, because they'll lob their shells now rather than be direct fire. To be honest, if they legitimately are retreating, then I'm happy to let them, because we've done a good amount of damage to them and it's only going to get worse. Well, not let them, but let's say I'm not going to be overly concerned about maximising my kills, let's say. Although I don't think we are re truly retreating. I mean, you guys want to need to pivot and engage these conscript guys before they shoot at you. Yeah, they're going to get into melee with us. That's fine. So we're going to engage their 9th Regiment of Line Infantry. Conscripts are dead, and they're going to... Yeah, they're shattered. Okay, looks like they are starting to fire back at us now. Just keep pushing, because ultimately... Shepherd them away from the back edge of the map. Commit my cavalry in. To hit a conscript unit. Oh, you see, they're concerned because their general has fled recently. So the conscripts might actually be quite weak as far as morale goes. Roshank horse haven't lost any casualties yet. <laughs> You got, uh, no, you guys want to keep damn redeploying because there's not any convenient there hasn't been any convenient um, moments to just let my guys shoot the enemy infantry except maybe for now okay, you men chase after the ninth you men Chase down that conscript unit. You men charge that unit of militia. You men charge that unit of conscripts. You men charge that unit of militia. Because we will have the edge when it comes to melee fighting. There you go, they've been broken. You men push on and attack that unit of conscripts. To be honest, it's just a massive conscript army. And they're gonna pay the price for relying on such a poor quality force. What we are gonna do after this is take everyone except we're gonna continue. We are gonna continue. Just turn everyone's fire at will off for now. They might get a handful more kills, fire at will, on, but we're not going to... Ultimately, we have a poss the possibility to do so much damage here, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, it's very much... You know, fire at will would be the bacon bits on the, of this engagement, and it's not entirely necessary. Should you guys go after a unit of militia? Because that... Ultimately, the, the edge of the map is quite close. But that will probably have broken the Dutch uh, the Dutch forces, and that would allow us to bring over the Denmark garrison, because Sweden's our ally. We haven't got to worry about them. And uh, use that to strengthen our front against the Dutch, and potentially expand and take Amsterdam, and really anchor our western flank okay then it's the last unit on the board is here so let's bring everyone in too bad we didn't actually kill their general because their general's very really quite experienced but god damn it that is a really good victory to get
We lost 300 men, they lost 2,100 troops, and... Oh, thank God. I was about to say, why... I was about to say, they're going to route east towards Hanover, and he'd be like, God, that's almost like losing, because they're still here. Okay, another Polish force advancing towards Prague and Berlin. Bearing in mind, we do have a force sieging... Um, not Prague and Berlin, between Dresden and Berlin. We do have a force sieging Prague from the Ottomans. The Ottomans, it, it looks like they won't be able to leave Vienna for a while because they've got morale issues. So we do have a bit of breathing space. The Marathas are offering to pay us for an alliance, which we're going to take because we want the money. Apart from that, though, I think this is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, because, well, the test will be to see how many troops we can pull out of Copenhagen. Got measuring tools. So, Copenhagen. Plus two. Garrison repression, eight. Okay, so we might not be able to take very many out, but let's see what happens. Minus one, that's doable. That's very doable. Very well. So then you men march west. They're already being replenished. You men can be replenished for only 500 and we've still got 3,700 left. So you want to intercept Stanislaw Poniatowski which we have the forces to do it. Uh, you, okay, what I could really do with is a bit more artillery. I don't have a, a good... Um, I don't have an ordnance factory in the east. So let's build one in Berlin. And... We're going to want to try and get some guns out to these forces. We're going to want to sally you men out to attack Stanislaw, I think. He is depleted. We don't know by how much. That's the concern. Um, we've got a good... Well, this is a good army here. Backed up by another Freikorps line infantry, so we're not exactly slouches, and we have fire by rank as well. Uh, hmm... I'll try and see if we can get peace with Denmark. France again stopped trading with us for some god awful reason. Uh, okay. Could upgrade the school, but I'm not going to yet. Don't want to upgrade Berlin's roads. So let's bring up our hussars out of range. Bring up our army out of range, not just our hussars. We can sally. They're only slightly larger than us, but our infantry component is significantly more capable than theirs. And their cavalry is quite weak. So let's attack Stanislaw. Uh, only their militia is depleted. The rest of their forces is, in is intact, but I think we're going to be okay. We need to keep rebuffing these Polish forces as they push out. And then incrementally grow our military forces in the east. We don't have to worry about the west yet, because we've got that... Um, contingent coming from Denmark but it is in our interest to uh, slowly keep would keep ramping things up so let's make an overall line my hussars are going to be to the rear and they're going to be focusing on the enemy's gun line well they were but the enemy have deployed their guns up front and their infantry to the rear so Okay, they're, right, they're, they're, they're starting to charge, and I'm one curious about which... I mean, they're going to be going for a militia unit, which they are. So if the 14th form square, you men run into it, fire it will off, you men halt. Actually, we can try and... Actually, no, don't. I was, going to, I was wondering if they were just going to run through the army. Grenadiers form square. The Grenadiers are going to be okay. Actually, let's run my run my hussars into the back of that unit there. You men get out of square. Pull my militia out of this action. Run my militia around my hussars. Counter charge the provincial cavalry. My militia jump on them as well. Push up our right flank quite aggressively. So my Hussars, who are a new... This is a new look for them. Everyone jump on the Provincial Cavalry, because they are isolated and static. 
So my hussars look like this. They look pretty good, actually. Bavarian hussars. Good fellows. Make sure we try, well, try to shatter them, which we have done. The militia advance, my hussars advance. Shatter the provincial cavalry because we've got them surrounded. There we go. So now... infantry line can reform and begin their push. It looks like they want to try and form a bit of a defensive line but our Freikorps on the right are going to secure the high ground. So it's forcing their infantry to commit in which case then let's continue our redeployment of troops let's put our hussars on the left to try and evict this regiment out of cover the 8th have been pushed out of cover which is great everyone is advancing in good order then we can surround and destroy this Polish force. In fact, Freikor, you men might run up, secure the high ground at close range. Actually, let's begin the just begin the attack. If we squeeze the right flank, they're going to have to address it. At the same time, we continue to squeeze the left. And this unit on the flank starts to get quite isolated. And they've actually abandoned their defensive positions. So push my hussars up to the rear. This unit here, poor, poor unit. Up against ground, they're up against a militia unit. They've got two infantry units. They have advanced firing drills, who look pretty damn awesome, actually. Yeah, we've lost a handful of men, but that's their volley. We've absorbed it. We can respond with our militia. Freikor can rack up their guns, make ready, front rank, fire! Oh, a lot of dead. Second rank, fire. Hussars, position to try and kill Stanislaw. That's the 15th routed. We fired our volleys, so let's advance ahead of the, ahead of the wall. You men advance like so. Grenadiers push up to back up my cavalry. I want to try and knock out this Polish general. Although it looks like they're not going to give us that opportunity. So let's run and then get my cavalry to sit here at the mouth of the trouble spot. Everyone else, open fire. The general sat inside. Everyone else, open fire. The artillery is frantically trying to decide which way to shoot. Go on, 14th Regiment. Oh, they're starting to focus firing the 12th Regiment. My grenadiers charge the general's bodyguard. My light horse charge the irregulars. See if we can knock out their general. Obviously we need to knock out their irregulars first. We might see our general die, because we're only hussars. We are light cavalry. The Pandora going down hard and fast. They're shattered. Charge into the back of the enemy general's bodyguard unit. The gunners have abandoned their guns with only two crew remaining. Looks like they're trying to run through my grenadiers. Artillery's gone. The line infantry's gone. It's the eighth they're currently holding. Eighth regiment of foot. Eighth regiment. Eighth regiment of militia. I see. Go on. Is the general actually in this little clump? 
There's the general. Kill him. Kill him now. Come on, I think we've got him. Eh, we could chase him down and kill him, but I think... Oh, there we go, we got him. Good stuff. Okay. So, all of you, except my general... Except my general. Fire it will off. Did someone come back? Regiment of Foot's come back. Deploy the flight corps. And let's speed up time. Because we're going to be mopping up. My infantry should focus on the infantry unit that's still here. Probably going to shatter them. There we go. Ceasefire. So let's use our lone cavalry unit to do as much damage as is possible. Come on, kill the 13th, then go on and attack the 15th. Tell, you, tell your commanders what happens when you engage Bavaria. Tell them we don't... We don't take kindly to your attacks on our land. I mean, granted, it didn't used to be ours, but it could have been. We're all Germans here. Come on, knock out the 15th Regiment. There's only three men left. Two men. One. Good. So that Polish offensive has been blunted very significantly. 200 men remaining, scampering back. So you men get back to Dresden. Let's replenish the force. Let's recruit... I don't necessarily want Fusiliers, I want someone a bit sturdier than that. Which I think it's got to be a unit of Grenadiers for now. So in terms of income, 4,300 next turn, not a huge amount. But I think we're going to get to the point where we can start to dial back the... Uh, our policy somewhat, like our tax level, we can knock, begin to knock that down and say, okay, three grand, not a huge amount, but it would be good to help promote growth. Our mines have been built, which is great. Vismar's on to common land enclosures, Coburg. You've finished measuring tools, then you've gone on to coke blast furnace, but instead you might go on to division of labour to help boost our economy. You recruited Freiburg, Freikorps Brand Brandenburg. Okay. Send my this agent east. I'm still happy to be sieging Prague rather than attacking Prague, because that's quite a good force there to defend it. And ideally, they would then push south and attack Vienna. And I'm counting on a bit of resistance, preventing the enemy from easily advancing. And I'm also hoping I can fairly quickly begin to roll up the uh, United Provinces. I mean, Britain could just naively invade me and screw the whole works, but there we go. Fra what? Okay, Sweden, who are you going to back? They're probably going to... Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, it's so annoying. Sweden and Marathas refuse to join me. We now have no enemy, no allies. Very well, United Provinces. Do you want to make peace? I mean, they won't, because I'm the human player. But you'd think they'd go, Aha! Actually, now we have a potential ally against the French menace. Yeah, they're pushing on to Bavaria. Well, they're pushing forward, but not into Bavaria. Right. The Sweden's no longer our ally. Mughals are hopefully going to go up and take Iceland. Pirates are going to pirate. 2,200. Okay. Italians... So we, we lost trade with... Oh, we lost trade with France, didn't we? I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, let's trade with Portugal, because they're at war with France. They want 380 cash. Okay, good. Because we're going to make more than that. Oh, it's because they're all... Oh, it's because of this. 
They're blockading our port and I just can't make peace with them because they hate me and I can't build a navy. See, they want Saxony. And I'd not, I don't want to give them Saxony, but I can't get rid of my... Ugh, that's, that's very frustrating. Um, you men need to push down here rapidly because they've massed a larger force this time to try and take us out, but the reinforcements will really help. Here at Stuttgart, well, I need to recruit troops everywhere, really. Everywhere needs men somewhere. So you men keep replenishing, you men bolster them with grenadiers. You could get a reasonable garrison from the Ottomans, but not enough. I mean, it would be nice to take Strasbourg away from the enemy. To be honest, I might try and see if I can get a temporary peace with nine provinces. Peace and trade. You, sir, will rue this day. I know. I know I will rue it. We'll have another import. Okay, right. So that thing I've just done. Reverse it. <laughs> 2,500 a turn. We've just got common land enclosures. So let's get you on to... Grenades. Just to, I'm trying to find lower tier technologies that are useful for, a level for that school to research with a more immediate benefit. Because everything else is too big or too far in the future uh, but we really need to start trying to cut down on some of these enemies okay, peace trade and I'm gonna offer you a grand right Ottomans peace trade it doesn't help that they're not at war with Poland that's really not helpful Britain peace they want Saxony, and I'm not going to give it to them. Peace, trade, and I'll offer you carbite. Very well. Ottomans. Peace, trade, technology, carbines. Oh, for God's sake. Just back off. Even Denmark. It'd be great if you left me alone. Peace, tech, military syllabus. No, I'm not giving you Saxony. So this this can be the thing with the AI, is they, for some reason, they're all fixated that they want to have Saxony. Everyone wants Saxony. Peace. Trade. Tech. Both of these. And I'll give you my entire treasury this turn. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Poland. Peace. Trade. I'll give you ring banner and carbines. And I'll give you 18 hundo. It's because they have no need to, because I'm currently their only real enemy. Ugh. We can deal with Amsterdam. I don't know why the French have declared war on me. That's really annoying. It's funny that Louisiana is not involved. They're still trading with us. Peace and trade. <laughs> okay, so you are going to have to take Prague because we can't leave an army like this sat here doing nothing. You have to take the city um, because you will need be needed to drive south and probably siege Vienna and to prevent our uh, forces, prevent their forces from marching on to Munich. We need to get aggressive here. But it's not gonna be pretty. Especially as we got again, I should really be utilizing my advan my advantage of having fire by rank. Come on. There we go. Advance, surround, destroy. So they have artillery. And unsurprisingly, it just slams home first hit. So 
you men are going to push up. You men are going to push up towards the town centre. You men are going to push the flank, backed up by you guys. You guys are going to push up to there. Bring more hussars in. My infantry that's pushing up is going to run to gain as much ground as possible prior to being countered by melee infantry. So let's run my cavalry on the right flank. Oh no, okay, don't run. They're just lining up. So they've managed to destroy the house next to them, kill a gun team, and cause themselves to rout from their own artillery. That's pretty poetic. So let's speed up the time somewhat. I'm hoping you guys try and advance through the centre of town towards us. Okay, let's put two units here at the crossing. At the... not the crossing, but the... the open ground. Push up our line like that. Keep my cavalry all wide. Keep this... Bring in the Dragoons, because it looks like we might have a unit of skirmish cavalry. Oh, they're charging. Keep my Dragoons ready, because you guys will all be able to put a volley into the horsemen. Okay, their troops starting to run. So all these grenadiers and stuff that are coming in. We're probably not going to be deployed back here for long. Counter charge the horsemen. Push up these men on the left because we're probably going to win that engagement here. We outnumber them significantly. Go on 17th Regiment. Open up on the Janissaries. If we can make them rout or waver is, is perfect. That's ideal. Shaken isn't so ideal. Okay, you guys get out of there. So you guys advancing, you guys advance. You men run. Got the danger with aha, now we can counter charge. When they're upset, that's one thing. If they're in good mental shape, that's dangerous. I can I want to try and charge them when they're wavering to hope that they rout. And I can then massacre them. So you men advance up to here. The men on the left advance. Same with the cavalry. There we go. They broke. It took a bit longer to break than I'd like. Let's push my line up. Let's take my cavalry out of the equation. begin pushing up my line. My Dragoons charge the Azar. So the Israeli should break fairly soon. They're low morale, then low quality. So the Azar have been broken. Let's just make sure they're shattered and don't return. So you have horsemen there. Which isn't charging, but if they do, they will soon suffer some issues. Okay, you men pull back. Get red, get near the infantry for support. Okay, the Azars are engaging because they can they've got slightly extended range. Push up my militia. 
push you man up like so okay so the Israeli are forming a defensive square You men line up and shoot the horsemen. Same with you guys. Same with you guys. If they decide to bayonet charge us, well, if they decide to charge us, at least I've got my dragoons nearby because they're open, they're going to start skirmishing us. So my these two units of militia hold this section here. My line infantry push through aggressively. Because the horsemen, it looks like they are going to break under our musket fire. There they go. Okay, so let's ratchet our right flank forward because it looks like they're starting to my aggressive position on the right isn't going to work although to be honest they are just armed populace so they aren't exactly going to be the most mentally resolute of units send in my line infantry to take them out my militia advance Militia advance ahead of the buildings. I see a charge. And it's... Oh, it's just an Israeli unit. Okay, it's nothing significant. My men can deal with that. If these grenadiers would reload their weapons, it'd be even better. Point blank engagement. Very well. So now our right flank can advance. This flank can advance. My militia are going to be useless, so just cease fire. Now it's just going to be my infantry gunning down the uh, the Ottomans. They've been walked back into the corner of their settlement. My men might have to undergo a bit of uh, to go a bit of replenishment later on. They've got some things to reload. Something like that. Just keep squeezing them. And then as these units reload, the 19th have opened up on the 21st, but the 2nd and the 18th can try and engage the 14th. There we go. So they've been pushed back into one corner of the map. And that's the end of that. So hopefully we've done a reasonable amount to protect our front. So let's end the battle. So Prague is secured. We want to do some selective reinforcement. So you want to repair that building and the opera house just to stop them from getting too antsy. But then let's pick our... make sure all our line infantry units are replenished. And pick a couple of militia units to replenish as well. Although it looks like, to be honest, we might be able to get everybody replenished. Okay. Can't repair the encampment. And that provides us some more desperately needed tax income. 189. Not very much, but some. Brings us back up to nearly 3,000. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to see you guys push on and attack Cologne, which now we've got these chaps coming in as reinforcements, you guys are going to be even more screwed. I think what might happen is that this force might end up maybe something like sieging Amsterdam, or if we beat them again in battle, we might be able to make peace, but I want them to go south and it's Strasbourg, because right now i got nothing. I just can't. If I, I, could, I could demand the I could demand the surrender if I had a reasonable enough force, but I just don't have one. Because you're replenishing. I don't think I'm recruiting anything. Okay, so tech advance. So the common land enclosures. 
built more mines, recruited grenadiers, trade agreement cancelled with France and Spain. That's a real bummer. Workers on strike in Denmark. That's... Okay, I have to exempt them from tax. I don't know why they've got so upset all of a sudden, because they were minus one. Okay. Oh, it should, okay, right. I might. Okay. A bit risky. So if I take this Prussian horse to Copenhagen, that will bring them... That will prevent them from rebelling. I can take this Hussar unit and block up Lübeck because I really don't want to give a, have a free port because they could just march in and take someone could just sail in and take Hanover immediately and then I'd be screwed. Which would be really bad. So in just a second, guys, I'm just going to quickly nip to the loo. And I'm back. Right, so I think that's everything we can do this turn. No one wants to chill out and make peace with us. Obviously, it's unfortunate that Spain's cancelled trade with us, but there we go. Uh, apart from that, all the way, this is all my spies are doing things. It's only a matter of time before Poland marches on us with their full strength. So at least I've got these armies next to each other, so they could provide a certain amount of support. But I'd really like it if we could make peace, Poland. I'd really like it if we could. Um, but let's hit N10 and let's see what uh, what the AI is going to elect to do to screw us over this turn. <laughs> I mean, the Royal Navy is just enormous. Are they going to land to Copenhagen? Ooh, fight the Danish Navy. No, no, they might go for Sweden. Hmm. Good. So they've pulled back. I mean, I can't let them... I can't let them um, continue in strength. Yeah, Poland is Poland is rebuilding. So it's only a matter of time before they sally in strength. So ideally, I want to march south with a strong force and squeeze Vienna and draw Austria, not Austria, uh, the Ottomans into a more decisive landing gear. Really bad, really bad, really bad. Really, oh, okay, right, not so bad. Whew. Not so bad. Okay. Spies are spying and that's okay. Repair the army encampment. We didn't get as much money as we'd like again. I mean, you guys have to go south to try and get demand the surrender of the city. It didn't go for it. I mean, I might have pretend. Well, you know what I could do? If I pull out of Cologne, let them take it with this army, jump on them with my now combined force. Because I'm not, I'm not going to fight take Strasbourg. I can't, I can't afford it. Bring you guys back north. I mean, it will be bad for a turn because we've got two thousand income, and we're going to lose. Well, that'd be, that's quite a lot. Hmm. Know, might be a bit of a stupid move. I was hoping that Strasbourg would allow itself to be taken over, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so I can now take this Hussar unit back to Dresden, bring this uh, Val, Val Dragoon over to Lübeck, occupy the port. Uh, da, 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 United Provinces, just chill out. No words to describe this insult. They're so close. Every time they take a second to think about it, I'm like, hang on. I mean, we're minus 115 because they were allied with an enemy nation. Well, we were allied with an enemy nation. Now no one's allying with us. We have no allies. None. Zero. Zilch. I think if they come at us with even with this force, I think we'll still be able to uh, withstand them, even yeah. despite this snafu. Apart from that, I think what I kind of have to do is spend a grand on 
more guns. One more turn to get an ordnance factory, but I can't wait a turn. I have to build a demi cannon unit now. Well, actually, well, it'll still take two turns regardless. Three turns till we get division of labour. Spies are going to spy. Minus five still. So I'm hoping that really pins down this force here in Vienna. And they aren't able to move. So I think that's going to be an issue. Let's hit end turn. See what happens. There's not a lot really that we can do to stop them if they want to invade. Britain's raiding Sweden, which is good. It means they're not going to look at us. It's not great in the long term if they do successfully take Swedish territory because it just means we'll have an, the British enemy will be just ever closer to our shores. Okay, for, okay, they let they let us get away with that. <laughs> they could have gone for they could have gone for us. Poland still still gathering strength. Go on, go on, uh, Prussia, fight them. Give them cause to think they can't just they can't just uh, forget about you, Prussia, sat at the back. Poland's still stealing tech. If I strike south towards Vienna. I will be on, I will explicitly be on the defensive. Sweden's advanced in strength. You want to buy technology from us? Great. You're allied with France, which is annoying, but whatever. That's no, that's really not what I wanted to see happen. That's really not what I wanted to see happen. This. That's really bad. Really bad. Okay. Mughal nations. I offer peace. And I offer you... Denmark. Oh, oh, oh they, didn't, they didn't go for it. Okay, so now... Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay. Peace trade. Are they going to go for it? A thousand times no. And you're like, oh, for God's sake, chill out. Peace and trade. It's so frustrating that they're not at war. They should be at war, but they're not. And that's the that's a really big problem. You go back to Cologne. So you're a pretty decent force now. Force to be reckoned with. You men have to regroup with this force out of Berlin and get back to the city. And Dresden needs to start recruiting infantry to help out with the defence of the city. So I don't know how depleted they are. They might be really depleted, but we can't defeat their navy. I can get. I mean, they might just go west and hit Hanover, which if they do, this Berlin force will have to go west and take Hanover back, and then maybe recapture Hanover when Poland gets up to some some shenanigans. Okay, trade route raided. Yeah, fair enough. So you're going to go for us now? I want them to go fall back to Amsterdam, and then this force will just launch out and hit the city. That's what I want to see happen. I mean that Mughal force on the horizon is that's such such bad news. Such bad news. That's always the problem if you're gonna be playing as Bavaria and expand to the coast. Because on hard campaign mode, they all the AI hates the human player above all else. It hates the human player. Um and you if you can witness it in this campaign. Cause it's just been like absolute wading through sludge. Because they will not give up. The AI will not give up on attacking the human player. So 
Surprised Poland didn't strike out east, but there we go. Hmm. Uh oh, is Poland gonna make the game chug? There's some Austrian rebels. Keep fighting, Austria rebels. Don't give up. That's the garrison that came out to fight them, though. Sweden's going to carry on being Sweden. If someone could wipe out that Danish fleet blockading our port, that'd be great. Yeah, so they've sieged Berlin. So we're now under siege in two areas, to the both to the west against the Dutch at Cologne. But at least here we've got overwhelming firepower. It's in the east that the danger is. You didn't. You got some garrison units, but not that many. I don't really know what your army's made of. Because you can't. You can't really get in there and see. We're now on the verge of making no money. Peace, trade, tech. Give you all of my tech. And offer money. Very well. France. Peace, trade, and I'll offer you measuring tools. They want Hanover? No, but I will pay you. Nope, I'm not going to give you Hanover. Peace, trade, tech. Ooh, don't want to give them fire by rank. No, sir. Offer you my entire treasury. For God's sake, give up. Right. I'm going to need this money to replenish my forces. So let's counter-attack at Cologne. Let's try and break the Dutch forces sieging the city. I mean, we will be able to break them. But it's just so damn frustrating they don't give up and France who who I was I was helping them fight the Dutch but for some reason France just went no you're the AI you're the human player I'm gonna get you and you're like oh for God's sake you suck so let's deploy my guns behind the line I do have significantly more artillery than the AI does. Although, actually, how many can you fit? 251. Don't want to put a line infantry unit in there, because that's not effective use of their firepower, and no one else is currently small enough to fit. Uh, just get rid of the Dragoons. Okay, let's do something like that. Okay, so let's take our uh, line, stretch it out even more. Now my gunners open up at their guns. Well, it looks like that's not what they aimed at. Well, enough line infantry spaced out here that if the cavalry attacks we can just shoot the bejesus out of them and their guns are opening up probably against my own they are but they've overshot just keep my guns attacking their guns I hear cavalry charges so you're charging into my center you're charging into my flank which makes more sense Yours makes a bit less sense. Keep my dragoons at the ready. Counter charge the regiment of horse. Well, 
Well, you men drop into square because you'll catch them. You men drop into square because you'll catch them. Those dragoons have dismounted, which is perfect because it's the cavalry that's much more concerning than their infantry is. Considering the firepower we can bring to bear against the enemy infantry. Cavalry selection, take my infantry, push up. Elsewhere, we were it was on it was on the side about who was wavering more. Get my, uh, it's probably f uh, flanking fire from the enemy the adjacent formations. You men push up and secure the flank, get my cavalry up on their flank, particularly to charge these dragoons, because they're about to they're going to hit my flank. So you meant charge into those conscripts. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. They did. I thought they were going to charge my infantry. So my cavalry hit their conscripts. We've broke them down to wavering off the bat. Now we've made them rout. So you men push up. Kill as many as you can. Hussars are absorbing losses. Pull my cavalry back. You men are round running up and down my formation. That's not the best idea. To be honest, I think with my force from Clone, I need to take most of it and just counter-attack against the Dutch next turn, regardless of what the condition of my forces are going to be. You guys can knock out their Dragoons. Well, they're shattered. Okay, go after their guns. My artillery doesn't really have a purpose now, so just smack into that unit of Dragoons there. Pull my cavalry back. So we're dropping a lot of fire into the enemy flank here. So those Marines, Marine, Marinier Corps are in real bad shape. Okay, just push up. Dragoons get after the 12 pounders. Prashenk Horse get involved, get the 3rd Regiment out here as well. You men smack into the 6th Regiment. So we're going to knock out their artillery. Hopefully it falls back towards Amsterdam. Ultimately, we might be in this weird situation where I slowly, pretty much, I slowly, ex the, the aim of the game is, can I expand east faster than I could, well, can I expand west faster than I get defeated in the east? Okay, get you guys out here. Because that's that Dutch generals on the move. To be honest, I keep forgetting that we are we have a, a force that's capable of wiping away most forces it faces against here. We have an army that can defeat anything in the early game can put against us. go take out the militia. Artillery's opening fire. All my well, my artillery can cease fire. The grenadiers are shattered. Attack the general's bodyguard. Attack the conscripts. There we go. Kill that Dutch general. So let's continue. Actually, no. Well, maybe not necessarily the smartest choice. Because fundamentally, we don't. We actually want. We want these units to retreat. 
because if they retreat to Amsterdam, then they will take up the position of a fully equipped garrison unit. So it's in our interest to actually let them get away. So what I'm going to do is chop recording here and bring you guys back at the end of the battle. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back. There we go. Decisive victory. Um, so yeah, I don't. Yeah, I want to try and not kill as many, keep as many actual individual units alive as I could, but not actually. Uh... Okay, so if I push out, they're going to launch an attack. So if I do something like this. Siege Amsterdam. That's plenty. No, just siege it. Don't worry about attacking it. Just, ugh, I might want a bit more firepower up there than what I've sent. Ultimately, I want enough here to deter the enemy. To take Amsterdam. And get rid of the school. And then try and push and take Brussels and France to uh, Paris just really quickly. Because actually, if we take Paris and Strasbourg, well, ultimately, if we take out Brussels, this force can try and go south and hit Strasbourg. Um, but what we have to do first is take the Berlin garrison. They're pretty depleted, actually, which is good, because this force then has stands a, a much better shot. Um, all of their melee, well, most of their melee infantry is pretty low quality. Their cavalry is weak. And they've got a couple of units of chaff coming in. So actually, this isn't bad. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for a uh, try to see off the Mughal Empire who have decided to attack us. Because, of course, they have. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>